good morning uh, today we are going to discuss uh, how to create uh, partitions delete partitions uh, see partition information uh, using a dos command called fdisk f this stands for fixed disk it is an external command to to use this command first you need to start your computer using a bootable cd of uh, windows 98 or xp and you have to start your computer uh, in command prompt so once you start your computer with a bootable cd uh, and uh, switch to command prompt you will uh, uh, see some such screen that is a prompt this a prompt is basically a drive uh, ram drive uh, which is installed during the booting process and uh, it contains diagnostic tools like format app disk etc scan disk so um, we are going to um, manage our disk that is our fixed disk so you have to write the command f disk and you have to press enter so once you uh, enter uh, inside the f disk options it will show you four options so these are called f disk options and um, uh, these are listed here first one is uh, to create partition second is to set active partition third one is to delete partition and fourth one is to display partition so let's start with how to create partitions to enter uh, this option just press one and press enter key so you will be uh, taken to this menu now you can see the create partition options there are three options number one is uh, create primary partition uh the second one is create extended partition and third one is to create logical partition stripes within extended partition so the structure is something like this you need to have minimum of one primary partition and primary partition is a partition which actually holds or stores the bootable uh, uh, files or operating system files so you must need to have one primary dos partition and uh, uh, you must be aware you can have maximum of four primary partitions in a fixed disk in a hard disk drive so uh, if you want to create more than four primary partition four partitions in a hard disk so you can follow the structure you can create one primary partition and assign remaining space to the extended partition and within extended partition you can create uh, logical drives and there is no limit to how many uh, logical partitions can be created you can create four five six any number of logical partitions can be created but be careful it can be created only within extended dos partition so uh, just uh, uh, start with uh, creating the primary dos partition to create primary dos partition uh, press one and just press enter key it will take you to this option uh, the command will verify the integrity of your drive uh, here it, it will start with zero and go up to 100 percent once it is done verification of the disk is over it will flash you this kind of masses this is do you want to use the maximum available size for a primary dos partition and the make and, and make the partition active yes or no this case uh, is uh, used uh, if you want to create only one partition in your hard drive it will create only one partition uh, using all space available in your hard drive if you want to continue with this option you can simply press yes and then press enter key it will show you this masses there is one partition created then it will ask you to restart your computer in case uh, uh, 
you want to create more than one partitions in that case you have to press no and then it will display you the total capacity of your hard disk drive here you can enter uh, either you can enter value in terms of bytes or you can uh, enter value in terms of uh, uh, sorry megabytes and or you can specify percentage a percentage is the easier option say 20 percent of the disk 30 percent of the day 50 percent of the disk and so on so here you can enter percentage as well so what will happen it will assign 60 percent of the total disk space to the primary dos partition just enter the percentage don't forget to write percentage otherwise it will take just 60 by mb of space <laughs> once you have entered uh, the value press enter and it will show you this massive that one partition and drive letter c is assigned to it the partition type partition type is primary dos or you can simply call primary partition status and volume label is blank megabyte is the size used by the partition system is unknown and total usage is 60 percent what the station is uh, we used to make a bootable partition active so that uh, operating system should know which partition to use for booting purposes so if you want to make this uh, active you have to go switch to the go to the basic option first option and you have to choose option number two they will ask you which partition you want to make active just specify the partition number that is one it will make that partition active and here you can see status a that is active partition so only one drive uh, this uh, of, uh, drive can be made active so you are you have created four partitions only one partition can be made active. generally it is the primary partition which holds the operating system files is made active what this volume level is there is just a name assigned to the drive c drive say you can send wall one wall two like this okay this is assigned when you format the drive okay when the drive is formatted using format command it will ask you to enter volume label and at that time you can enter the volume and it will be displayed here this is just a name using which you can access the drive this is the total capacity and system is unknown right now it will be changed to the file system you must be aware there are different file system like fat fat 32 and dfs so once you format the drive depending on the which file system you have used it will display the file system here by a fat or ntfs so, so these are the options so you have finally created one partition its primary partition and uh, its total use is 60 percent uh, here you can see the masses primary DOS partition created. Next, uh, come on to uh, creating other partition. Now, again, you have to go to the basic option. There, you have to select prime uh, create partition. Then it will take you to the create partition option. Here, uh, you can create extended DOS partition. Now, remaining space will be assigned to extended DOS partition. So, press two since its option is 2 and then press enter it will take you to this place here total disk space is this much maximum size space available for this partition is 40 percent what you need to do is assign entire space whatever space is displayed here simply press enter so you need not to enter any value whatever value is displayed here just press enter so the maximum available space will be allocated to the extended partition once you press enter it will display you this masses that second partition 2 is created its type is extended dos volume level is blank, blank. megabyte is this much of space and this much of users okay so be uh, you must have noticed that uh, here for primary dos partition uh, drive letter c is assigned but for extended DOS partition, no such drive letter is assigned because it is not uh, actually a drive. It is just a boundary created uh, within which you can create logical drives. So drive letters will be assigned only if when you will create logical drives inside the extended DOS partition. So let's come on to the how to create logical drives. So 
uh, here again you are in the create partition options third one is the create logical dos drives in the extended dos partition so press 3 and then press enter key it will take you this place here you can see create logical dos drives in the extended dos partition so no logical drives defined right now so it will give you total space available and this available space will be treated as 100% of the space so still here you can assign if you want to create more than one partitions you can assign space in percentage say 50% of the space so once you assign 50% of the space it will create and then and press enter it will create a partition and see here drive letter d is assigned this much of uh, space is assigned to it and total uses 50% 50% of what 50% of the extended dos partition okay so remaining 50% uh, space is available so it's verifying the integrity and it will again ask you to create uh, another logical drive just assign the remaining space if you want to create one more partition so uh, just uh, press enter it will show you this masses d and e drive both are created in which is having 50 percent space each of the extended dos partition and in the bottom you can it will display you a masses and entire space is assigned to logical drive so there is no more space available for creating any drive so we have created one primary dos partition which is c drive letter remaining space is assigned to extended partition and within extended partition we have created two logical drives g and e so basically three drive lit as drives are created c d and e so this is how you can uh, uh, create partitions set tactic partition partition as i told you earlier that it is used to uh, set a partition active which the drive which will be used to store bootable files so yeah or operating system file generally primary dos partition is used to set active partition third one is to delete partition similar options will be shown you can delete partitions uh, in the reverse order that is you have created part first you have created primary then extended and within extended you have created logical drives but when you will go to delete partition option you have to delete uh, first delete logical drives then you have to delete extended dos partition then finally you will delete primary dos partition and uh, last one is the display partition information display partition of information will show you that I, the partitions you have created till now so press 4 and press the enter key it will show you all partitions say c d c primary then extended dos partitions here it shows you in the extended dos partition contains logical dos drives do you want to display the logical drive information yes or no so you can press yes it will show you the logical drives so these are the uh, logical uh, all the drives and uh, and just uh, you have created once you have created all the drives just uh, restart your computer then format all the drives that's all for now thank you